For my first monologue, I will be playing Cynthia from A Girl's Guide to Chaos by Cynthia Heimel. The realization hits me heavily, like a 44 magnum smashing into my skull. My heart starts beating with a quick dread, and the blood freezes in my veins. My stomach does backflips. The ordeal I'm about to face is one of the most chilling, grisly, most ghastly experiences known to woman. Dating. I will have to start dating again. Oh, please, God, no, don't make me do it. I'll be good from now on, I promise. I'll stop feeding the dog hashish. I'll be kind, thoughtful, sober, industrious, anything. But please, God, not the ultimate torture of dating. That's why I stayed with him for so long, probably. I couldn't stand the thought of going through it all again. Sure, sure, he might be a trifle wild and stubborn. But I kept telling myself, at least I know I'll get late tonight and tomorrow. At least someone will go to the movies with me and not try to hold my hand. Ugh, hand holding. The worst thing about dating. It's the most nerve wracking experience. Once I start holding hands, I'm afraid to stop. If I pull away, will he think I'm being cold or moody? Should I squeeze his hand and kind of wiggle my fingers around suggestively? Or is that too forward? What if my hand is clammy? A clammy hand is more offensive than bad breath or right-wing politics. A clammy hand means you're a lousy lay. Everyone knows that. And what Dear spiteful God, will I wear? Thank you. For my second monologue, I will be portraying Amy from And Turning Stay by Kelly Powell. Don't you dare walk away from me. And, and don't tell me you're sorry. Don't tell me to forget about it. And don't you dare tell me to let it go. God knows I'd like to. I wish I could, but I can't. I can't forget that we had something and you're running away. You're running away. Don't you see? You're running from what I've searched for all of my life. Why? Because you're scared? Well, I'm scared too. But you and I, we can make this work. I'm not saying it would be easy, but I care about you. And I know deep down under this bravado that you care about me and that's what it's all about don't you get it it's the human experience you can pretend all you want but you're only lying to yourself you're denying the simple and wonderful fact that you are emotional and vulnerable and alive. <laughs> Can you honestly stand there and tell me that I mean nothing to you? That everything that happened that night was a lie? That you feel nothing? 
I feel sorry for you. I'll move on. I'll find someone else. I'll be all right. Because I'll know that I tried. That I did everything I could. But someday, you will look back. And you'll realize what you threw away. And you'll regret it. Always. Thank you.